doing another Ed Boon Mortal Kombat 1 interview, but this time it's my friend, Gameplay RJ, who is the GOAT when it comes to Mortal Kombat in Brazil. This guy has been my homie for almost a decade now. So yeah, my buddy RJ got a chance to talk to the man, the myth, the legend, Ed Boon, and ask him a bunch of hard-hitting questions. The whole interview is about 12, 13 minutes long. I'll be only really focusing on maybe three or four questions because Boon talks about the story mode and again teases this big crazy ending for some reason they keep teasing this story mode ending like it's gonna be something we've never seen before so again i'm like onaga please he does touch base and confirm that customization will be in the game which has already been confirmed courtesy of like footage showcasing unlocks at the end of certain matches and invasion mode etc story mode chapter stuff so Boone does kind of talk about customization, but he doesn't really deep dive too much into it, unfortunately, which makes me think they're saving it for some other time, even though the game drops in like two weeks. <laughs> um, confirms we're not getting any new characters in this game, I believe, based on what he's saying. Um, it sounds like, yes, the final roster spot will not be a new character, which is not too surprising. Uh, I think we all kind of accepted that. But uh, if you were still thinking that maybe King Jared or somebody like that would appear out of nowhere, probably not happening. And he does touch base and talk about the idea of adding DLC story mode stuff like we saw with Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath and things of that sort. So really great interview. Again, just focusing on a few of these questions that RJ did ask Boone. I highly suggest not only checking out this interview, but also... Gameplay RJ in general, because again, this guy is like the GOAT. He's got like a gazillion subscribers and has been a supporter of mine since, man, from day one, honestly. This is one of the real ones, guys. So shout out to RJ. It's crazy seeing my homies getting a chance to ask Boone things like this. So without further ado, drop a like if you're stoked for this. And hell, let us get into the interview. Now, first things first, the story mode and Boone teasing that there, there's something big at the end here. Now in the story part of this stuff, uh, the story mode is like the 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 length is similar to the earliest uh, to mk11 and mk10 yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's about, about the same. We, we have uh because we we are doing this model since mk versus dc Nobody, yeah that's uh, right a few people remember this yeah, game but I, I, I a like lot of people game. think it's mortal kombat 9, Nine but mk but it, dc yes. is the first one uh do, do you have something new on this story mode or is it more like the the other listen ones? here for the most part it's like the other ones but we we have something crazy mm. at the end of it okay it is absolutely crazy and I, i'm definitely not going to talk about okay, it yet, that's but, fine. but it, it it will it will it will surprise oh everybody. great yeah, yeah. We, we have again uh what could it be what could it be i i don't know i i think a big character reveal could be it you know, like an Onaga at the end, like a whole Marvel scene and credit scene. But at the same time, like the way they're hyping this up just makes me think it's something more than that. And you go back to Mortal Kombat 11, you know, having the the option to have not one but two different endings. Go back to Injustice 2. You had the good and the bad ending with Brainiac and such. So they always give you options, choices. So if I was a betting man, I'd say that the MK1 ending would probably also give us some type of choice. Good guy, bad guy, a.k.a. Liu Kang. Shang Tsung, Kronika, Dragon King, but the way that Boone keeps hyping this up, I don't know, man. What else could it really be, guys? Do you guys have any big brain theories to this? Do you think there's anything else that we're just not thinking about other than just some crazy reveal at the end of the game of a character? I don't know. What could they possibly do in the typical seven, eight hour cinematic story chapter experience? What could they do that's really gonna leave us just going crazy? What could they do? What's going to hold us off for the next four or five years? Onaga. <laughs> now, there is a follow-up question here where, you know, RJ does ask Boone about, like, cameo fighters and, and such like that. And um, he does confirm, Boone, that there's going to be cameo fighters in the Mortal Kombat 1 story mode that aren't even, like, real Mortal Kombat fighters that will be exclusive to the story mode. So um, that's been talked about for a while now. But again, confirmed, there's going to be people, like, I assume, random monks and stuff like that all throughout to help us make our way through and learn Mortal Kombat 1. You feel me? 
have now the, this cameo system, right? Yes. That there has a lot of characters, and all of these characters, I, I guess, is we'll be, we, we will have an explanation why, but all these characters are like their first versions, right? Yeah. yeah. Like Sector and Cyrex, Sony and stuff. Sony and These cameo characters that they are not playable, fully playable characters, are they in the story or they are just the cameos? Some of them are in the story. Okay. Um, and as a matter of fact, um, the story mode has cameo characters that are exclusive mm. to the story. So there's there's characters that help you that 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 aren't even Mortal Kombat characters. Oh. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's tons of cameo characters in the story that are only appear in the story. Let's talk about gear customization. So again, Boone does play Koi, but he at least acknowledges and confirms there will be customization, which I mean, it's already out there. Um, you can't put the toothpaste back inside the toothpaste container once it's out. So, yeah, this is what Boone had to say about customization. Customization, right? Because uh, in MK11 and in Justice 2, we had a ton of custom. You, you can customize everything, a lot of parts of the character. How is yeah. this on, on this one? Because we couldn't see anything. Um, well, we're, we're, we're probably going to give more information about mm -hmm. that. But I, I can tell you that there is customization. Okay. There is um, a collection. There is... Like I said, the, the invasion mode is where you get all, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of those rewards. Um, you're leveling up your individual character, you're leveling up your cameo fighter, uh, you're leveling up your player profile, mm -hmm. like which Three. is throughout the entire game. So Three. there are a lot of avenues to get stuff in the okay. game, just for playing the game. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what they're waiting for. The game drops in a few weeks and we still haven't even seen customization options. So uh, maybe before the game drops, like a couple of days before they're like, here's the customization trailer. I, fuck, who knows? But yeah, uh, we already knew that, but from Boone himself, you can customize in some capacity. I think the biggest thing to take away from there is there's gonna be some type of collection. A collection, you said. So there's gonna be like a maybe like a database where you can go and see everything we've unlocked in like our unlock inventory. Maybe I don't know. A collection, not a crypt. A collection, a collection of things. Does he mean an actual collection? Is he just uh, who knows? But so here's the question where RJ asked Boone if we are gonna get any new characters in the MK1 roster. And again, like I said, he pretty much confirms that we're not. So check this out. Do we have any? Brand new character for this one because uh, since MK10 we we have yeah and now we didn't see any uh, no new characters at this time yeah the the we always want to add uh, new characters that the 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 challenge with it is there is such a demand for you know we were talking about everybody wanted to see Sonya everybody wants to see Jade everybody wants Melina Katana Sub Zero Scorpion Kung Lao first two know, he like, named like it's there, there's such a, uh, a demand for that that takes up a lot of slots so there's not as much room to uh, uh, make brand new characters but we are bringing back characters that some players haven't seen in mm -hmm. 17 years yeah right Ashra Lee May uh, Havoc a mm -hmm. lot of those are from the Mortal Kombat uh, 3d era yeah. games right you know we haven't done a lot of those in you know 15 16 years and mm -hmm. so that's a big focus on with this game is bringing back some of those um, characters that have been away for a long time. So I mean, I hope that mentality stays going forward. There's a bunch of other 3D era characters that have been missing for 15, 16, 17 años years. So uh, yeah, Boone, uh, I wish we had this mentality in Mortal Kombat 11 and Mortal Kombat X because you could have just done this a lot sooner. But hey, better late than never. No new characters because the old ones are getting their due, finally, after waiting eons, as Liu Kang would say. So yeah, no new characters in the roster um, so far. Maybe DLC, I doubt it. But yeah, they're focusing on just giving us what we want, which can never be mad at that. And finally, Boone is asked with the potential idea of story mode DLC that we saw back in Mortal Kombat 11's Aftermath expansion. Again, shout out to RJ. I highly suggest checking out the full interview. It'll be linked down below. This was a really fun, quick, easy 11, 12 minute watch. So I highly suggest checking out my boy down below. And let's get into the final question that I think is worth noting. We, in MK11, we had the aftermath, right? Yeah. And it was the first time you did something like that, a story yeah. stuff and stuff. So did you plan to do the aftermath 
when you make MK11, or it, it was an idea that came after? Because Aftermath question. is like important to this story I right now. I think we did. I think we did. Yeah, we, it was. We, we we had a plan to have continue the story. Continue the story. And, and, and uh, uh, are you, are you thinking about it in MK12? Absolutely, we're yeah. considering. Absolutely. We haven't made any we're any kind of final decision mm -hmm. or anything like that. But I, I personally love it when we continue telling the story, continue adding characters, continue adding, you know, um, the finishers and stuff yes. like that. It's fun to add the yeah. friendships and all that stuff like that, just to keep the game, um, you know, keep new stuff coming into the game. Yeah. So for me, I feel like this means that it's not out of their own possibility that maybe we do get like. Uh, some big reveal at the end of the game and then the expansion maybe a year later two years later will get us through that whole wait period uh they can just tease with the expansion stuff give us the expansion and then we just wait for the uh mk2 mk13 so yeah um they're open to the idea they could do it they might do it we'll just have to wait and see but guys again the goat gameplay rj Arguably the biggest Brazilian YouTuber on the planet who, again, is the homie for life. Love you, RJ. Great interview. Great questions. I'm really happy to see you got a chance to sit there and go to Chicago, go to Netherrealm, and have this experience. Because, again, um, this guy's a diehard Mortal Kombat fan. And to see that he's finally getting his deal like this warms my heart, bro. It makes me really happy. So, guys, that's all I got for you all today. What do you all think of this? <coughs> I'm dying. I'm coughing. Smoke, where you at? Um... What do you think about the whole idea about the MK1 ending? What do you think is in store for us? A decision to make? Different endings? Do we go back to the, uh, the OG timeline? <laughs> what do you think about the customization options? No new characters and of course the idea of a story mode DLC. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Of course, if you enjoyed it though, take a second to like on the video, subscribe for more MK1 content like this on the channel. Till next time, being your host, been Dynasty. You guys, please take care, stay safe. I love you. Thank you for everything. Have a great rest of your night. And I'll see you in the next video. Check out the full interview linked down below. Shout out to Gameplay RJ. That's my man. Down below. Go watch it. Tell him Dynasty sent you. Love you guys. <laughs>